San Francisco earthquake. We just need to figure out what you're here to do. Help! Give me your hand. This building's coming down. Look out! Wake up. Jimmy Fallon welcomes Blake Shelton, NBC Tonight. On our broadcast tonight, the Rhinelander School District is getting a boost in funding. We'll explain what this means for your property taxes. Plus, the Achieve Center in Wausau is rolling out a new program. We'll have the details on how it's helping bridge the gap for families with special needs. And Wisconsin is cracking down on PFAS contamination. Your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Jessica Jukic and Conrad Savinsky. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Jessica Jukic. A Northwood school district received some good news today. It will receive significantly more state aid, meaning local taxpayers will be footing less of the bill. Ryan Lander Superintendent Eric Burke says this morning the district learned that the state aid will increase by almost 80%. This doesn't mean that more money will be spent by the district. It just means the state will pay more and taxpayers will pay less. So more money will be coming from the state and less money will be from our local taxpayers. So what we'll see is local property tax for schools go down. Dollars of property value will drop $5 in 2023. This means an owner of a $200,000 home will see a decrease of around $500 in the next school tax next year. The Rhinelander School District also has an operational referendum on the November ballot. The tax relief will come even if the November referendum passes. Well, this community has supported the, the public schools and this school district for the last four referendums. And we have some great things going. We want to see that continue. Area taxpayers provide most of the money for the Rhinelander School District, but the taxpayer share will go down in 2023 from around 83% to 72%. Not all districts in the state are seeing a boost in state aid. The Northland Pine School District will have less state help next year. In a few weeks, voters from across the state will weigh in on school re district referendums. Staff members of the Three Lakes School District made the case to vote yes tonight. The district's asking for $4.25 million each of the next four years. That would be another extension of a referendum that dates back to 2006. With this continuation, approving the request wouldn't affect the current tax levels. The district is hosting three community informational sessions about that. It feels like winter outside. Conrad, how long will these cold temperatures last? It does feel like winter. It's middle of October only. Can you believe it's not only, it's not even Halloween yet. I we know. We're already having snow outside. But yes, cold temperatures are sticking around. Same thing with the snow. Taking a look outside right now. That is a picture I actually took this morning. I actually went out to the UP to take some photos of some heavy lake effect snow. And that's exactly what happened. Six plus inches of snow in some places. And with these winds and cold temperatures, trees were getting knocked down. Right now, not looking too bad. A couple locations have some stronger lake effect snow, especially by Marquette. And just south of there, right here, is that sweet spot. It's been getting... Uh, pretty much snow all day today here in Wisconsin. A couple of flurries and really light snow showers will be continuing into the overnight hours. Temperatures have finally uh, dropped below freezing. That means it's going to be slippery outside. So really take extra precautions. And that feels like temperature is going to be on the colder end with all of these winds all across the state. Temperatures tonight, though, will be hovering near average and into the mid-20s. Jessica? Thank you, Conrad. The Shawano County Sheriff's Office is investigating a bonfire incident this weekend. The explosion happened after an accelerant inside the fire combusted, injuring many in the crowd. 
At this point, the sheriff's department met with about 17 victims, but those injured could be as high as 30 to 40 people. The exact severity of all injuries is not known at this time, but authorities say the injuries range from critical to others who have already been released from the hospital. Law enforcement are asking that any victims or witnesses who have not spoken to them to please come forward. If anyone wishes to speak to one of the detectives working on this matter, contact the sheriff's office. Canada-based Greenlight Metals has submitted plans to start drilling near a few of Wisconsin's natural features. The schwamigan Nicolay National Forest, the Ice Age National Scenic Trail, and the Dells of the Eau Claire state natural area are all targeted for mining development. The DNR received green lights notice for intent of exploration drilling near Eau Claire Dells on October 7, 2022. This plan would allow a 450 foot deep open pit mine to be constructed. They believe it contains 4 million tons of copper and gold. Drilling the mine would also include having nine boreholes drilled in wetlands up to 650 feet deep. Hazardous waste would not be allowed to seep directly into the wetlands. Waste can be captured inside recirculation tanks located at each drill site and then disposed of in pits at higher elevations on the property. Governor Tony Evers and the Wisconsin DNR are announcing the start of a PFOS containing firefighting foam waste collection and disposal program. The 2021-2023 biannual budget signed by the Governor gave $1 million to the DNR and the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection for administration of a program to collect and dispose of PFAS containing firefighting foam waste. North Shore Environmental Construction, Inc. is a Wisconsin-based company that was selected through the state's competitive bidding process to complete the project. They'll be collecting and disposing of at least 25,000 gallons of PFAS containing firefighting foam waste from fire departments throughout Wisconsin. As the race for Wisconsin Senate is heating up, we're getting a look at how much money has been raised by both candidates during the last quarter. Mandela Barnes has outraised Senator Ron Johnson by $8 million. The U.S. Senate campaign finances reports Barnes raised $19.5 million between July 21st and October. Ron Johnson has raised $11.6 million during that same time frame. During that time, Barnes spent more than $17 million, while Johnson spent $9.1 million on advertising. Former President Obama will attend an early voting event with Governor Tony Evers and state hopeful, Senate hopeful Lieutenant Governor Barnes on Saturday, October 29th in Milwaukee. Other Democrats, such as Attorney General Josh Call, Senator Tammy Baldwin, and U.S. Representative Gwen Moore of Milwaukee will also be in attendance. A Milwaukee native, Barnes has been attempting to rally voters after a Marquette University Law School poll showed Senator Ron Johnson ahead by six points. Governor Tony Evers is being challenged by construction company owner and Trump-endorsed Tim Michaels. Polls show Evers ahead by less than half a point. President Obama won Wisconsin in 2008 by 14 points and by seven points in 2012. The Achieve Center in Wausau has one mission, and that's to provide a high level of care to children that need help. Now their building looks a little different after a long construction process. Their new child care program is almost ready to get started. Newswatch 12's Mohammed Abdul Kawi has more on the program. I can't believe we're really here. The Achieve Center in Wausau completed its construction on a brand new facility for its treatment-focused child care. I am really motivated to work with the directors and the teachers to make this the best possible experience. Even though the process took months to finish, Executive Director Carol Wesley believes that her and her crew benefited from it. Uh, we had some construction challenges and it um, provided us an opportunity though to really put together a program and a facility that will be of great benefit to the children. This program is one of a kind in the area. It features three classrooms, a gym, four treatment rooms, a nurse's office, and a kitchen. There are parents who are extraordinarily excited about uh, having a place where their children can go that will be safe, that will meet their needs, and where the children can receive the treatment they need. It's all about the children and to make sure they are at their absolute best. Wesley hopes that this child care center will make an impact in the community. I'm looking forward to being able to uh, hear and see those kids uh, when I enter the facility 
and to be having the interaction with parents and everybody who's going to be involved in helping these children be able to reach their optimum best. Reporting in Wassa, Mohammed Abdul Kawi, Newswatch 12. The Chief Center opens in two weeks and they're still accepting applications. The Merrill Police Department has a new canine officer. Dosti is the second canine officer in the history of the department. He's training with Officer McCas McCaskill. The police department says he excels at drug indication and tracking. Dosti will start working in Merrill next month. The new canine officer was purchased through a grant from the Bierman Family Foundation. Inflation is making it harder for families to make ends meet. Coming up on Newswatch 12, we'll hear from an expert on how to adjust to rising prices. That's after weather right here on Newswatch 12. Tim Michaels' company has been sued numerous times for sexual assault and harassment. Women said they were groped and pressured to have sex with their bosses. Those who spoke out were fired. Is that the kind of divisive radical you want as governor? In the Senate, Ron Johnson pushed tax loopholes benefiting himself and his donors. Did my business benefit? Sure. Did some of my donor businesses? Sure. But here's what Johnson's doing to us. He voted to raise the retirement age and allow cuts to Social Security. Even supports letting Wisconsin ban nearly all abortions and said, if you don't like it, you can move. Ron Johnson works for himself, never us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Dear 2029, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspections, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with 7-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. To learn more about Toyota certified used vehicles, see your local Toyota dealer today. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexFi on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% financing for 66 months. Did you know Tim Michaels pledged to cut millions from public schools? We're already throwing so much money at education. He'll drain classrooms and gut school funding. Is that the kind of divisive radical you want as your governor? It's Monday and we had a little bit of snow in Rhinelander, but this shot behind me is a picture I took in Waters Meets UP of Michigan, just uh, eight miles actually north and east of that town. Lots of snow, six plus inches of snow, but look at this tree down on the road. This was actually a second tree that was down with all that heavy, heavy wet snow, gusty winds and cold temperatures. Trees were coming down like sticks. So really, hopefully you guys took extra precautions out there. Here in Wisconsin, and not looking too bad. We had a dusting of snow, actually 0.4 inches to be exact, throughout the whole day today. Right now, not looking too bad. A couple of flurries right now, some lighter snow showers still lingering in and around the area. But most of the heavier lake effect snow is in and around Marquette. Look at all those dark blue colors. Those are one plus inch an hour snow rate. So they are getting hammered with snow, over a foot of snow in some locations, and it is still coming down associated with this low right over here with these winds spinning and blowing out of the northeast and really ramping things up. Gusty winds, warm lake waters, and that means lake effect snow and lots of it, to be honest. That's going to continue into the overnight hours and then for most of the day tomorrow, especially closer to Marquette area. For us, a couple of flurries will be lingering for the first half of the day. 
But overall, it's the temperatures and the winds we got to talk about. Winds are on the gusty end right now, and they will be even stronger by tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at some of these wind gusts over 40 miles an hour. Locations in the purple will have winds close to 50 miles an hour, so it will be windy. Hold your hats and layer up because it will be cold as well. So you know that what that means. Feels like temperatures will be cold. Right now, temperatures around 29 degrees in Rhinelander. So whatever was unfrozen is now frozen, so it is slick outside. Take extra precautions. It'll drive slowly. And please layer up for tomorrow morning as these feels like temperatures will be in the teens. I know it's only October. Feels like beginning of December. But a warm-up is on the way. Looking at some trends, uh, warmer weather. Weather will be back 50s and even some 60s. So get ready. Warmer weather will be back tonight, though, and not so much. Mid 20s outside, a few flurries lingering, and those winds will continue to be on the higher end. And our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show a warm up on the way. Look at Friday, 59, and then right in time for the weekend, 60s are back. Jessica? Thank you, Conrad. Authorities in California say they've caught the man believed to be behind a series of killings that claim the lives of six people. The man dubbed the Stockton serial killer has been terrifying the Central Valley for more than a year. Police say the suspect is Wesley Brown Lee and was caught, he was caught wearing a mask and carrying a weapon. Police say he was on a mission to kill before being arrested. Jen Sullivan has the latest. For more than a year, a serial killer has terrified California's Central Valley. This Stockton community on edge as authorities hunted down the man police say is behind six murders. It, it creates a heightened uh, sense of anxiety. That anxiety coming to an end over the weekend as police believe they've caught the man responsible for these gruesome shootings. 43-year-old Wesley Brownlee was arrested Saturday. Police say he's a Stockton resident and does have a criminal record. When police caught him, he was wearing dark clothes, a mask, and carrying this gun. He was on a mission to kill. He was out hunting. Tips led police to Brownlee, who police say shot at least seven people, killing six of them. The earliest shooting dating back to April of 2021, the most recent attack on September 27th. All six victims were alone and in dark areas when they were ambushed. This surveillance video shows the killer near the scene, who police now say is Brownlee. We made it very clear to the public that the senseless acts of violence will not be tolerated. Brownlee is scheduled to be arraigned Tuesday. Now the community uh, can sort of rest and, and be at peace and not have to uh, uh, deal with that level of anxiety. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Senator Ron Johnson's campaign made payments to the law firm of a Trump attorney who is allegedly connected to a January 6th fake elector plot. According to financial disclosures filed Friday, Johnson paid more than $20,000 to the Troopist Law Office. The law firm is led by James Troopist, who is alleged played a role in the plan to reverse the 2020 election results by using, quote, fake electors. Those allegations are now under scrutiny by the federal government. The recent disclosures show the Johnson campaign paid more than $13,000 for, quote, legal consulting on July 26th. Then on August 18th, Johnson's campaign paid $7,000 for the, quote, recount legal consulting. There's more evidence that it's getting harder for American workers to keep up with the cost of living. A new survey finds a huge majority of American workers say their wages, wages are not keeping up with inflation. As prices rise for nearly everything continues. A Bank of America survey found that nearly three in four American workers surveyed said the cost of living is outpacing their salary and wages. The data also found that half of employees said they have to take action to deal with the economic strain. Experts say adjusting your lifestyle is key. Do you really need a new car? Do you really need extra subscriptions? A recession is the opportunity to look between what, where we spend our money and what we value and bring them into alignment.
Among the group taking action, 21% are tapping into emergency savings to pay for bills. Another 6% say they're dipping into their 401k and making a hardship withdrawal. And 20% are looking for higher paying jobs. After a promising start to the season, the Packers have now lost two straight. Coming up on News Watch 12, we'll hear how Aaron Rodgers wants to fix the offense. Looking at mattresses? <laughs> I'm just looking. Jump on it, roll on it. No. Just pretend I'm not here. You have any questions? Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. She seemed nice. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. Slumberland. Mattress shopping reinvented. They say the real measure of a leader is in how he treats his people. But at Tim Michaels' company? These allegations span over two decades. Women say they were groped. The male superior groped the crotch and inner thigh of a female employee. Assaulted and pressured to have sex with their bosses. If she refused demands for sex, she would be blackballed. And when co-workers spoke up, they say they were fired. So if that's the kind of leader Tim Michaels is, how do you think he'd lead the state? Right, Jake Middle, and on the left. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd win. Are you saying What's something? really happening over there? I think you're on mute. There's no substitute for real gaming fun. Go where fun lives. <laughs> Old Chunk <Chung> Gaming Wittenberg. <laughs> it's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series. America's best-selling trucks, 45 years straight. Also, great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. Ford Truck Month is here, so let's get after it. Lock in 3.9% financing for 60 months on a new built Ford Tough F-150 plus $500. Right now at Slumberland Furniture, you'll get 30% off all living room furniture. Yup, sofas, sectionals, tables, recliners, and more. All 30% off. Plus 30% off select mattresses and 20% off everything else. On now at Slumberland Furniture. Coming up on your Tuesday, join us for this week's Nursing the North. All right, snow will start to back off a little bit on the way Tuesday, but finally back off with a nice dry stretch Wednesday and beyond in a warm-up. More when you tune in on your Tuesday. Did we somehow time travel back to the 1980s? Because the Green Bay Packers might not be very good. The offense was especially disappointing on Sunday, putting up just 10 points. But the team star quarterback shared a simple way to get the pack attack back on track. A reporter asked Aaron Rodgers what sort of adjustments the offense should make. And Rodgers said simply, simpler, as in simplify the offensive game plan. I don't want to get too specific. Um, and I'm not, uh, not attacking anything. I just think that based on how we've played the last two weeks, I think it's going to be in our best interest to simplify things uh, for everybody. Not to stir the pot here, but that message could be seen as criticism toward the Green Bay coaching staff. Well, head coach Matt LaFleur was asked today about Rogers' simplify message. Nothing. There, there's nothing that we put in um, when we put in the game plan without having some communication with him. Because I don't, I don't want to put it in if he doesn't feel good about it or uneasy about it. Um, you know, obviously, you always want your quarterback to be comfortable and confident in, in the plan. I think that's where it starts. Since head coach Matt LaFleur had joined the backers in 2019, Green Bay had not lost back-to-back -back games. Obviously, that streak came to an end on Sunday. Hopefully, it doesn't become LaFleur's first three-game losing streak next week. Backers head to D.C. on Sunday to take on the Commanders. The last Wisconsin team to win a championship are just about to tip off. The Milwaukee Bucks will be back this week. 
but they will be without their second best scorer, Chris Middleton, and that's familiar territory for the Bucks. Middleton is expected to miss the first few weeks of the regular season as he rehabs his wrist surgery. And like I said, that's a painfully familiar experience for the Bucks, who lost to the Celtics in seven games when Middleton was out with an MCL sprain last postseason. But despite this setback, Milwaukee has the fourth best NBA title odds, according to Bet betting websites. A big reason for this is that the Bucks have yet to lose a playoff series when their three stars, Giannis, Middleton, and Drew Holiday, are all playing. Milwaukee will take on Philadelphia this Thursday in the season opener. The Amherst Falcons were kicked out of the high school football playoffs last week after the WIAA says the team had a player who wasn't eligible. Amherst student athletes were in court on Monday to try and reverse that decision. Portage County Circuit Court Judge Michael Zell sided with the WIAA, though, and didn't grant a temporary restraining order filed by Amherst High School. On October 10th, the WIAA received an anonymous tip that one of Amherst's players had played high school football when he was in the 8th grade. WIAA rules state that players only have eight semesters of eligibility. That means Amherst will not be seeing any playoff action this postseason. We'll be right back after the break. When I started working at Michael's Corporation, Tim was nine years old. Tim worked in the trenches for many years when he first started out in his company. 51 years. 12 years. 20 years. 50 years. Took a small Wisconsin company to one of the best in America. Tim is really hardworking. Very good leader. And he's going to tell you like it is. Because of Tim Michaels, there are thousands of good paying jobs in Wisconsin. Jobs that people are proud of. I wouldn't hesitate for one second to jump in a foxhole with Tim. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Get a $500 cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine when you purchase. Plus, current Chevy owners can get an additional $2,500 loyalty cash. And now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance. Start a new Chevy truck with accessories. There's no other place where my story is possible. My mom was a teacher. My dad worked third shift. It was our ticket to the middle class. That's the promise of America I'll fight to protect. While others send our jobs overseas, I'll bring manufacturing back, invest in our own workers, and stock our shelves with American products. And with a middle class tax cut, you'll be able to keep more of what you earn. I know the promise of America, and no one will fight harder to protect it. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. The Internet of Things is evolving, creating the Internet of You. And Spectrum, America's leading Internet and mobile provider, is bringing you seamless connectivity across all your devices. Introducing Spectrum One. Spectrum Internet with speeds of 300 megabits, advanced Wi-Fi, and Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, all for just $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers speeds up to a gig with over 99.9% .9 network reliability. Advanced Wi-Fi provides enhanced security and privacy that automatically blocks threats to protect all of your devices. And Spectrum Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G and the most reliable service coast to coast. Switch now. Call 833-673-4999. At Spectrum, it's not just about connecting things. It's about connecting you. Get it all with Spectrum One, Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Changes are coming to the Tomahawk Chamber of Commerce. Following their meeting last week, a new slate of elected personnel will be on the board. One of those changes includes a new president to the chamber. The chamber's board of directors, Al Evans, is entering that role and says he has one focus, continuity for the program. Make sure that we have uh, effective leadership. Make sure that we look out for the businesses and the community and uh, create that bond and that um, cohesion. The chamber is also welcoming members on a trip to Pompeii in Italy. That will give a different perspective for the chamber members to actually, again, let their hair down and kind of get to know the chamber director and um, chamber in Italy. Members traveling on that excursion will have the opportunity for a meet and greet with the local Italian chamber. 
Nine black bears are back in the wild after being released by wild instincts. The Rhinelander Wildlife Rehab Center says three of the bears was born in January and were part of a research project after their mother passed away. The other six cubs were taken in throughout the year. Wild Instincts waited to release the cubs once bear hunting season was over. The nonprofit released the bears in state forests last Thursday and Saturday. It cost the nonprofit $3,000 to raise each cub. We'll be back with one last look at the forecast. Here in Wisconsin, you should be able to walk down the street and not worry about crime. I'm Josh Call. As a former federal prosecutor and your attorney general, I've put murderers, drug traffickers, and sex offenders behind bars and kept them there. And I worked with Democrats and Republicans to change the law so rape kits don't sit around untested. I know there's more to do, but I will not stop until you and your family are safe, no matter what neighborhood you live in. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Sher, DC with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair. So don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. All your local news is just a swipe away with the new and improved NewsWatch 12 mobile app. Download the app on all your devices for local news, school closings, full video newscasts, and more. NewsWatch 12, news from where you live. The WJFW News app is sponsored by Cellcom. Save 50% on select smartphones at Cellcom September 30th through October 31st. Taxes due at sale. Restrictions apply. Visit Cellcom.com slash deals for details. Reduce in prison populations is now sexy. Reduce in prison populations is now sexy. Sexy? Mandela Barnes.